you are not going to allow this factory to close without a fight. Jobs, decent jobs in, in the United States are worth fighting for. We, uh, we, led, we led the effort. We, we said that we would do whatever it would take. Um, our workers said that they would chain themselves to the machines if, uh, if the banks were hell-bent on uh, liquidating the company. It's great to see you in your own factory a year later after a lot of people thought there wasn't going to be a factory and there wasn't going to be 600 jobs, but you proved them wrong. And I'm proud to be here with each and every one of you in a factory that's running full, that's working full, and that's going to work full for the rest of this year and into next year. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of people in America, unfortunately, right now, out of work. And we've got too many factories that used to make things in this country that are shut down and we bring in everything from countries where people earn pennies an hour. The fight to save heart marks was a fight that not only matters to the 600 people here in your families, but matters to the state of Illinois, matters to the United States of America, and matters to working people. We've got to convince more companies, as we did here, that they can prosper and make profit by making stuff right here in the U.S. with the best workers in the world making the product. And we, are we needed help, and we got help not only from the workers who were standing to fight our union all across the United States of America, but we got help from political leaders. The Lexi Janulius, who was there when we needed her. I just came by for two reasons. The first is say happy anniversary. And the second is because I need to buy some more hard mark shoes. Uh, so, let's keep fighting. Let's keep fighting. And Ruby and I are going to come back. And Marina and I are going to come back. And Joe and I are going to come back. And 20 years and we'll be very proud of what we stood up for. When times were tough, we stood up for this great American company. Another person who rallied the United States Congress when we needed it, who made this a federal issue for working people and for the government, who called on the administration, who called on every administrative agency to demand that the banks who took federal money do what's right for American workers. And that's a member of our own union, a member of Workers United, SEIU, a member of our union who has served proudly in the United States Congress. She worked tirelessly. She didn't stop. She annoyed them. She bothered them. She demanded they took federal money. Now be responsive to workers. And that's the Congresswoman from the state of Illinois, a member of our union. We're proud of her, Jan Schakowsky. I am so proud to be here as a member of Workers United SEIU to stand here with our courageous leader, our tireless leader, Bruce Rayner. The Democrats have began, begun a new initiative called Make It in America, which bets on American workers as the best workers in the, in the world and says that we're going to be looking everywhere for that Made in America sign. Is this particular plant thriving, uh, but it's growing 40 more jobs, this new line producing much more coming out the door right here into the welcoming hands of Americans who want to see the Made in America label. It's all about jobs, and it's really a no-brainer. You know, good jobs right here in Des Plaines, Illinois. We're very proud to have them a partner in one of our leading businesses. We are a 125-year-old American iconic brand. What we've done is we've taken Heart Chapter Mark and, and took this amazing manufacturing, coupled it with amazing design, and now are, are looking at taking the entire man's lifestyle on. It's not about a building, it's about everybody inside the building. We thank everyone that came out, participated with us, and stood up for us, and, and they didn't look down and treated us like we were people, that we deserve to work. And we all do deserve a job. We all do deserve to take our own. We weren't asking them to give us anything. We was willing to work for it. All we wanted was a chance. We got that chance, and we thank you all very much.
much look forward to having anniversaries and not forget this and continue to fight not only for our jobs, but for American jobs, a fair government, elected leaders that care about us, and a society that's fair to working people, the rich and the poor, and give people an opportunity to make things in this country that Americans can buy. Thank you and God bless you. I don't have to worry about my mortgage anymore. Yes, we want. Yes, we want. Yes, we want.